Chevrolet is GM's heavy hitter. They sell everything, budget cars, high performance sports machines, trucks, but they've had a big hole in the lineup. No full-sized car base crossover. The new Traverse takes care of that. Why it's taken so long for Chevy to get a large crossover like this, I do not know. Traverse is based on the same platform as the GMC Acadia, Buick Enclave, and Saturn Outlook. All of those have been out for a while. Like its brethren, Traverse is a well-done rig. Inside and out, it has a family resemblance to Malibu. Not a bad thing. It's much like the other GM crossovers, comfortable seating for up to eight, and the ability to swallow an entire refrigerator. Traverse gets GM's new 288 horse direct injection V6. That's bolted to a six-speed automatic transmission with manual control. This big rig scoots along fine for a family hauler. It's moderately quiet, exceptionally comfortable, and handles well. I'm seeing an average of 17 miles per gallon in mixed driving, about the same as the competition. A front drive traverse starts at 30 grand. At 43.5, this top of the line all wheel drive LTZ model has a huge sunroof, Bluetooth phone connection, great nav system, parking assist, and remote start that even pre-warms the seats on chilly days. They're also cooled for summer months. Something I really like about General Motors cars is the OnStar system. Now, one of its many features is that even if you don't have one of these fancy navigation systems, you can download audible turn-by-turn -turn directions to wherever you want to go. Just talk to a friendly OnStar representative. Connecting to OnStar. Directions today? Yeah, actually, I'm looking for a really good pizza place in Walla Walla, Washington. Can you help me there? Sure. The listing, the only pizza place that's coming up in Walla Walla, Washington is Pizza Pipeline. That sounds I'm good. Pizza. Address is 1423 Plaza Way in Walla Walla, Washington. Okay, that's good. Why don't you download it to my nav system? No problem. I'll set up your route. Thank you, Beans on Star. Thank you very much. I'm going to Walla Walla, Washington to have pizza. Gripes? Well, not many. No keyless ignition option. Interior surfaces are hard. The large size is about the same as a Tahoe SUV. And 43 large for a Chevy that's not a Corvette is quite a hit to the checkbook. Let me just say, doing this test on a large crossover is a real pain in the neck. As you can see, there's room for four suitcase-sized bundles of TP. The third row easily folds flat to create a huge cave of a space. Buick Enclave and Honda Pilot currently hold the record at 18 packs. It's now been broken. Traverse swallows 19. I have to admit, though, the automatic door won't close. You have to slam it shut. GM has high hopes for Traverse, stressing that they believe quality is second to none. How do you convince people that have been in import brands for years to try a Chevy? Drive it. We are convinced that this vehicle um, is superior in safety, quality, style, and utility. While I noticed some fit and finish issues on early traverses, my tester and others I've examined that were built later are well screwed together. All in all, it's very competitive. For families who need room and crave comfort and convenience, Traverse covers new ground for Chevy. Now, I talked to Chevy's Steve Bartolone at a GM event in Phoenix, Arizona a few months back. This is not a commercial for Traverse, but I like to share parts of my interviews with you folks out there so you can hear the manufacturer's spin. Frankly, the folks at GM have been straight shooters for the last few years. We wanted uh, to take the style that you have on the outside and bring it to the inside. As you can see, the dashboard has a, a dual cockpit design. We call it the dual butterfly look. Started back in the Corvette days and uh, recently with the successful launch of the Malibu, it has that same sweeping, elegant, but a harmonious look as well. In addition with the dashboard, the glo low gloss levels um, give it that more luxurious feeling. Obviously, you guys have done your mea culpa on quality for past sins, um, but you firmly believe that these things will run with everybody else in the business? Uh, we're convinced that uh, it'll run better. Uh, we are convinced that this vehicle um, is superior in safety, 
quality, style, and utility. People, people have stayed away from American brands because they, the, they think that import brands are better, but how do you convince them? How do you bring them back to the fold if you really feel like the quality is that, that good? Well, there's, there's certain things that, that give evidence to the quality. Five-star ratings. The Insurance Institute for Automotive Safety just ranked top safety pick for the Traverse for frontal offset side and rear crash tests. Uh, the Lambda architecture, which this vehicle is built off of, has um, a proud tradition of the last couple of years of winning awards in quality. And as we've clinicked the vehicle across the country, throughout the vehicle development, we've scored off the charts in those areas with those customers. Okay. And the last thing I'd suggest is, and if you were skeptical, Tom, just take it for a drive. Traverse competes against Mazda CX-9, Hyundai Veracruz, Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot, Ford Flex, and all of GM's crossovers. It's obvious competition has never been more intense. Best of luck to you, choosing will be difficult. That's my take on the Chevy Traverse LTZ. If you want a longer written review, go to the website www.nwcn.com autos. There's a link to my email there, right if you've got questions about this car or any others. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.